And now, your first alert five weather. And after a roller coaster ride of temperatures over the weekend, Sunday being the coolest, back into the serious heat today. Temperatures into the lower to middle 90s in the Springs and Pueblo. And even though we we're close to a record in the Springs, Pueblo was about seven degrees off. Now, the record thresholds go down a little bit on Tuesday. And because of that, I think we could set a record in the Springs. My forecast is 94. Current records 93 from back in 1985. Pueblo, the record a little bit higher, probably safe. But if we get to that 99, maybe 100, we would be just about a degree or two shy of that record of 101. Tonight in the Springs, it is very warm outside still. 71 degrees, maybe thinking about cracking open the windows to let out some of the hot air from today probably helps. 73 degrees, the current temperature outside in the Pueblo area. It looks like that live cam not completely updated as we know. It is plenty dark outside at 10 15 in the evening. Now the other story tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier in the newscast, is going to be the potential for a return of that thicker smoke. We do have air quality alerts in effect through the afternoon hours and into tomorrow night for El Paso and Teller County. As you can see, it does retreat to the north a little bit early tomorrow morning, but then it spreads back to the south and expands to the east as we make our way into tomorrow afternoon. National Hurricane Center has already released its latest or last update on Ida, now just an extra tropical post cyclone, still producing plenty of heavy rain as it moves into the Tennessee River Valley. We could see around two to four inches of rain out there during the day on Tuesday. And then look what happens as a storm exits across New England, probably late this week. Some areas in Pennsylvania, West Virginia, even out towards Long Island could see as much as two to five inches of rain. That storm not done yet as the flood threat remains high across the eastern part of the US. Now for us, we shift our focus back to the south. This is the remnants of what was once Hurricane Nora. All this green indicates an increase in subtropical moisture that's expected to stream into the southwest on Tuesday and Wednesday, eventually reaching us here in southern Colorado as we make our way towards the end of the week. So if you want to get the car washed, I would advise tomorrow is the best day. Wednesday's okay. I say yes because the rain probably doesn't pick up until Wednesday night. Thursday, but the potential for heavy rain, I'm going to give it a no as it could be quite stormy out there by that time. Let's take a look at some of the longer range models. Keep in mind this isn't the high rest stuff yet, but you can see Wednesday very heavy rain across the western slope. And I think this starts to move east by Wednesday evening into Thursday morning. This particular model has backed off a bit on the extent of the coverage of the rain. And again, this is just one of several models we look at when we build a forecast. Because of that, we're keeping in those rain chances at least through the end of the week and in some areas all the way through the weekend. Stay tuned for that. Sam will have an update tomorrow morning on News 5 today. Overnight lows tonight dropping down to the 50s and 60s. Your highs tomorrow, they are toasty, especially across the lower Arkansas River Valley. And here in the Springs, again, 94 could be a new record for the final day of August. Isolated storms expected by Wednesday evening into Wednesday night with heavy rain, I think possible on Thursday. Good chance of storms still Friday and then isolated storms trending for the upcoming weekend. For Pueblo, we go from the upper 90s on Tuesday down to the 80s, actually below average as we head towards the start of September, thanks to some unsettled conditions. Canyon City, mid 90s on Tuesday, down to the 80s late this week and into the weekend. And for Woodland Park, could be talking about several days of rain in the forecast. Best chances come in Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday night, and will continue all the way into the weekend. Rob?